be excited because we are playing with fire today. Hoog E Arts. So if you've never used this technique, you're literally burning alcohol ink onto a glass surface. Today I'm going to do that with my glass and then I'm going to put a basic ink drawing in black and white behind that glass to see how it looks. So the actual technique that I'm using for the glass burning is something that anyone can do. You just need the supplies. Those supplies are alcohol. You need rubbing alcohol. You need liquid alcohol inks. I got these in my palette box this month on my subscription, my art box subscription. And then you need a glass frame or something that you can frame your piece in. And general, generally when people do this, they just put a white paper behind their ink burning and then it has this cool effect that I'm going to show you today. And of course, fire. Very important for this process. For my alcohol, just so it's not messy, I did grab a little cup here and I'm going to put that in there <clears throat> and use a brush or a spoon or something to help me guide the rubbing alcohol. Just remember kids, fire means parents or adults. So if you're not an adult, be sure to have a parent. This is not proper use of scissors. I am trying to get these staples out of the back of this frame. <laughs> ah, nailed it. So once you have the backing to your picture frame, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna trace this for the size of your picture or the white blank piece of paper that you're gonna put behind this ink burning abstract piece thing. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side and then get our glass out of our frame and then place it on a surface that is safe. This is paper, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get foil or something that isn't flammable, obviously, to do this. Now comes the fun part to this is I'm going to spread different colors of ink on here just randomly and then set alcohol on it and then set it on fire. So the colors I have today, I just picked randomly. I have magenta. I'm just going to drop these on my glass. I have aqua. This is literally something anyone could do let's see we have lemon so yellow we have some yellow caribbean blue turquoise oh, that's just like a darker blue okay and this one right here is a metallic gold and i'm gonna shake this up because the metallics they kind of settle looks yellow to me and then this last one is my rainbow ink it's kind of a glittery thing that interacts with the other inks kind of like the alcohol is going to do so this next step, I'm gonna use the alcohol ink here. I got a spoon, or not alcohol ink, this is the actual alcohol. I'm going to just disperse it randomly on here and that's gonna interact with all these different colors. Do not have your alcohol container anywhere near this or like whatever you're dispensing it with uh, because it is very flammable. All right. So here's the magical part when I light this on fire. Please do be careful. Woo! Fire! Man, that's pretty hot. We're just waiting for this to come down and woo! Man, that is hot. That's like a campfire on my table right now. <sighs> kind of makes me nervous. Make sure you have high ceilings, ladies and gentlemen. Man. All right, you see the fire's going out by itself. And sizzle, wow. Woo! Cool.
cool that off a bit. And this will be hot, so we're gonna give it a few minutes and see how this turned out. And there we go, we have this beautiful piece of art that we could just frame behind white paper and call it a masterpiece. Tell me in the comments what you think and if you're wanting to try this technique, send me some pictures and let me know how yours came out. Well, that was intense. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and use my cutout piece of paper that I have in my mess here and I'm going to do a simple black and white ink drawing to go behind my masterpiece uh, of burnt glass and ink. You know what? It kind of looks nice just on the cardboard. You can see the rainbow ink and how it left that glitter in some spots. So that's an idea too. Today is the 15th of Inktober, so the prompt is legend, and I decided to do a fairy real quick, just hanging from a rope, and kind of in a weird dancing way. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Here is my ink burning piece with my little fairy in the background, hiding in all of that color and glitter and abstract funness. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you approve of that fire incident. Okay, <laughs> it's not going out. Go out, go out. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and share this video. If you have any ideas for future videos, if you want me to use a certain material or go over a certain topic of art, I will do that. Just leave in the comments below and maybe in the future you'll see something about it. Until next time, we'll see ya.